Hi, welcome to my channel, Great Northwest Comics. I am Chris, and today I've got some great books to show you. I have a CGC unboxing. Just got this in the, uh, at my doorstep today. And I also have some great books that I'd like to, to show off today. Uh, first off, uh, this uh, comic up front is Adventure Comics 290, and it features the first appearance of Sunboy. Uh, I got a great deal on this on eBay on an auction. They had the starting bid at $13, and uh, I was the only one who bid on it. It's a very good condition. The, there, all the pages are there. It's attached to the staples, barely, but it is, the cover. And a uh, pretty cool book. I read it. I think my only criticism about the overall storyline is that uh, Sunboy goes back to the past and, and teams up with Superboy. And at the big, you know, surprise reveal at the end, turns out that it's not really Sun Boy, it's an imposter, and he pulls off his mask. So, in, in essence, we didn't really get the first appearance of the actual Sun Boy until, like, the last page of the story, where uh, Superboy goes back to the future to dump the uh, criminal off, and Sun Boy's there uh, in, in the clubhouse. So, kind of a, kind of a weird first appearance that's... It's more of a first impersonation appearance of some boy. But anyways, I think it's fun to have in my collection, especially for the price. Uh, next up is just my regular weekly comic book haul. I got uh, this Lazarus, I think it's like Alpha, the first issue in the, in the series that they're doing. Yeah, Planet Alpha. So, pretty like the artwork, pretty, pretty good story and stuff. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get all the books though. I'm just going to get the one, the two that feature uh, first appearances of some new DC characters. Okay, next up is King Spawn with this issue 18. So pretty cool cover art. I don't, I don't really like it that much, but you know it's cool to have something different, I guess. But I, I prefer the other normal artwork that is usually on these covers. Uh, next up is uh, Spawn, I think this is called Unwanted Violence, issue number one. Great uh, artwork. I wasn't going to buy it, but then Todd McFarlane did his old magic on uh, Instagram and convinced me to buy it. So I did, and I uh, enjoyed it. And this one, Black Cloak, uh, this is an interesting fantasy story. Um, I think I will continue with it because I do like the artwork, and I do like the storyline, even though it's kind of a basic fantasy storyline with the uh, uber rich, you know, snobby royals versus the uh, the exiled outcasts and everybody else around them. I, I, I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, next up is Gunslinger, with the uh, same kind of artwork from King Spawn. I think they said the covers are done by Mac, somebody Mac, and. Uh, I always like Gunslinger. I, I, this is, I think I like Gunslinger more than I like all the other regular series, the Scorch, King Spawn, and regular Spawn. Um, just, I just like the interaction of Gunslinger with, with the young kid and, and just the, the great storyline that, that he's been given. And next up is Dead Lucky. Uh, still like in this series. Uh, I think they started into a new story arc here. Um, <clears throat> I, I think I'll still continue with it. I have to make up my mind because I want to only collect maybe between five, five to seven titles maybe, just to keep my expenses down. And then, like I always say, you know, try to put them into to older books. And next up is Dark Ride. This is a great story. Really enjoying this one, and uh, I definitely will continue with this one because it has everything I like. You know, family, family drama, and um, murder. And finally, something is killing the children. Uh, definitely, you know, everybody loves this series, I think, and uh, I think it'll, it'll go go for quite a while. So that that will always be in my comic book pull list. All right, let's pull that down. I'm gonna move these out of the way real quick. All right, let's get to the unboxing. I'm glad it came. The box came like early in the morning, and uh, I, which I was happy about because I didn't want it to get here like at 8 p.m. at night, for then it's more difficult to try to find time to, to do a video and such. All right. 
Now, I, on my last video, if you watched it, I already, I already did a preview of the grades. I didn't tell you what the grades were, I just previewed them, and that helps with my like level of anxiety and stuff of doing these unboxings. You know, you put a lot of time and money into getting these books, uh, or you know, finding the books, and then um, sending them off to a third-party presser, which in this case is Turlock Comics, and then sending it to CGC. And uh, so I just, my natural inclination is to be a little anxious about what the grades are gonna be. Uh, what's interesting about this unboxing is that um, I've sent more than one batch to Turlock Comics, but this is the first batch I've actually gotten back from them so I can evaluate their pressing service. They charge $20 per book and uh, he's supposed to have like this uh, assistant James that I think does the more complicated books and then um, Joey does, the shop owner does the, like the modern books, like most of the ones that I send in. So um, this is gonna be an opportunity to, re to review their work. And, uh, and especially, you know, since, since they charge $20, which is at the high end, like the, I think the only other service I've seen that charges more is the Heroes Restoration. They charge, uh, I think up to $45 a book. Not sure on that. Um, I did one book through them just to check them out, and I still haven't got that one back yet because it's uh, it was shipped economy to CGC, so that's going to take seven months. Uh, this this batch is crazy. Um, CGC received this on December 29th, and it was literally in the mail on the 9th of January. So they'd actually had it all. Uh, they actually had the shipping label already printed and it was uh, said it was shipping on the 6th. That's all, that's like a five day turnaround essentially. So that, that was pretty cool. And oh yeah, and of course, you know, what was it? Uh, there was also a holiday weekend with a uh, week with uh, January 1st. And let's see, so let's try, okay. Uh, these, are, these are really tight in here. Kind of interesting pattern here, I'll show you. Ugh. So I only have like five or six, six books in here. So they um, used a bigger box, probably a box for 10. Okay. So these are definitely tight in here. A little too tight. <laughs> All right. Oh, hopefully I didn't show you the grade. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. We get organized here. Right. Make sure the glare's not there. All right. Okay, so this is Fathom the Core, number one, and uh, this is strictly a cover buy. I, I remember when Fathom first came out, and, you know, the cover artwork was just awesome. Uh, I don't remember if I bought any of them, but the Turner covers were, were always great. So, uh, this one came out in November of 2021, and let's see, what does this say? Aspen, AspenStore.com exclusive cover. So one thing with that, with like Aspen and Top Count and stuff, I guess they just sell their books online because it's, it's like they only had two of these on at the comic book store, and I never saw any other issues again. So I think I think you have to buy them exclusively from their online stores. So I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into it. But anyways, let's get on with the grade. Nine point eight. That is awesome. I, the camera. My camera is being really annoying today because like it has a count on there. How long I've been doing the video, and it's actually covering the grade. Maybe we should move it. Like move up, oh, no, move. There, that helps a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's not too bad. Okay, yeah. So anyway, nine point eight. I expected a nine point eight. And now what what happened with uh, this book was that. Uh, Torah Comics was only supposed to press four of them and not press this book or uh, another one in the batch here. And uh, so they said, so I asked them, so when they told me they pressed it, um, I, I let them know that, hey, you know, I, I worked with you guys on this for doing only four books. And they said, that's no problem. They won't charge me for the other ones. And uh, so the book looks really nice. It's really nice and flat sitting in there. Uh, it was it's a real thick cardstock paper, so it had kind of this bulge at the spine. So he, he definitely flattened that out, and I don't see any issues at all with, uh, with the pressing. And issues meaning like, 
perhaps the staple might have caused some issues like um, a spy tick or something like I've had with some other pressings. Oh, oh wow, I see a uh, Newton ring right there. It's too bad. But it's only like total angled bright light there. How about on the back? And there's one Newton ring on the back. So CGC, I guess, just will not invest in uh, the appropriate engineering to get that issue <laughs> resolved or something. Uh, let's see, let's do the, oh, this is the glow. This may be the most expensive book out of this order. Make sure the invoice doesn't come up. Okay. So this is uh, We Live number one, first printing. And I got this for a dollar at the divorce sale <laughs> at the, the local comic book store. The guy was hilarious. He's, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate he had to sell his, he wanted to sell his collection and he was selling them for a dollar each. And it was all modern books, you know. And so I was able to pick up a, a full set of first edition, first printings of We Live. And uh, of course this had, oh, see, I can't show you the back yet until I show you the grid. I'll show you the back. All right, what did I get? Nine eight. I knew it. I mean, it was, the only thing I was worried about is this one seemed like it was handled a little bit more and maybe we would have come back a 9.6. Uh, but uh, very happy to have it come back a 9.8, of course. And let's see, so there's the back cover. This, this is one of the few uh, encapsulated books I have that are um, double covered. So very cool. I like that. I have like, I can't remember which other printings I have. I have like the second and third printing or something like that. I, I know I have two more. I forget which one, which printings they are. So very cool. Maybe at some point I'll get those other ones done as well. And then, okay, let's do all the bags and boxes here. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the Legion of Superheroes, issue 285. Uh, I, I want to say this is the start of the uh, best time of the Legion of Superheroes. I think maybe 284 is the actual start, but I think like one of the books I have about the Great Darkness Saga, I think it actually starts with this issue here. And uh, uh, so this is part of my run I'm trying to get completed. I want 284 all the way up to roughly 306 encapsulated and I'm trying to get 9.6s and higher but um, I have a few books that didn't hit the 9.6 but anyways let's see what I got 9.6 not bad very happy with that of course you know I already know what the grades are but you know I can still be happy about it <laughs> for the unboxing okay so for the press job everything looks good Let's see, so no, no weird things around the, so the first thing I look at is the staples to make sure that there's no weirdness there, no, um, you know, like, uh, I don't want a dimple that was on the spine turning into a spine tick from the press, I and mean, that's what happened with my Teen Titans 44 issue. It does sit funky in the well, and that's, that's not the pressing, pressing fall. <laughs> Come on! Okay, it's sitting. It's just sitting really high up in the well, up there, and that's one thing I do not like about CGC. Sometimes I had one book come back, and it was so high in the well that this little um, indent actually. I'm sorry about the glare. The little indent up here actually dented the the comic book itself. So at some point I may actually get that one reencapsulated and repressed. I I should have just contacted them at the time, and I didn't because it was a. Yeah, I'd only paid like four dollars for that book. This book, I don't even remember what I paid for this one. Uh, nine nine dollars at the most. So very happy with that book. Um, especially being the, the nine six. Next up. So this is uh this is one of my favorite covers actually because you know speaking of Sun Boy. <laughs> um, he uh, he's uh, fighting Doctor. I think he's called Dr. Regulus on the cover here. And uh, Dr. Regulus goes all the way back to Adventure Comics. So he's been around for a while. And, and he's the one that actually caused 
uh, Sun Boy to become Sun Boy. I, I forget, off the top of my head, I forget his real name. But uh, he, um, he was locked in a nuclear furnace by Dr. Rakos as revenge for Dr. Rakos blaming him for like ruining his research or something like that. So anyways, let's see what Grady got. 9.8. Very happy. I mean, I, I have very few 9.8s in my collection. Uh, this will probably be like the third or fourth one for the, for the Legion books. Um, I have 9.8s, in, you know, for the other stuff. So, yeah, it's really cool. White pages, too. I forgot to mention these are all white pages, uh, which I wasn't very happy about. I have some other books I would love to submit, but they have off-white to white pages, and I think I, I could just find a better copy that's in white pages to submit in the future. This is that same thing again. It's like the book is like, the book is kind of like, Murp, a little bit. <laughs> so it needs to be straightened out. So if I beat them, beat them up a little bit, they'll move into the right, right area. Uh, pressing job looks great. You're supposed to clean them too, clean and press. I, I wipe them down anyway, anyways, with, um, you know, makeup pad thing. Yeah, looks really good. I like that. Awesome. Let's see. It's kind of funny I got that book back, so if you put this book up, <laughs> and just, you know, compare the artwork. <laughs> night and day difference. Night and day difference. Um, I think I remember someone was talking about, like, how do you how do you get kids interested in, like, Silver Age and Golden Age books when the artwork is just so bad on some of them. Not, you know, not all of them, but just on some of them. Okay. All right. Let's see, this one's 302. Uh, this is another one of my favorite covers because I love Lightning Land. And uh, actually, this is the one I had two copies of. Uh, this is a uh, newsstand. And let's see. And it actually says newsstand edition on the label, which is awesome. And uh, so I have a direct edition copy as well as a newsstand edition. And the newsstands look better, uh, especially with the page quality. So I decided to go uh, send these in and get them pressed and, and uh, graded. So 9.6, not bad. It's the mark, it's the mark. Uh, I didn't notice like this when I was pulling it out. Oh, geez, there's a gigantic, there's a, and a, it probably won't be picked up well, but there is a um, Newton ring like right in the middle. Right, right here. <laughs> Big old Newton ring, right? Right smack dab practically in the middle of the action. <laughs> Maybe it'll go away, we'll see. Yeah, you know, it does travel far and it goes through different temperature zones and stuff like that. Oh shoot, there's something. I don't know, I think there's, um, there's like a piece of plastic inside the book, inside the case. Or something, it's not, there's, there's like a chip on the inside of the case on this one. Oh, this one's going back. That's too bad. Okay, and then uh, the pressing job looks great. Wait, what? <laughs> I think they have quality control at CGC. I guess not. I guess that guy took the day off. So, new stand edition, white pages. And going back. All right, oops, sorry. We didn't see the grade there. Okay, there's another one, awesome cover. Most of the covers on this series I really like anyways. I mean, like, I'll probably, you'll probably hear me say that be 50, you know, 30 times. Uh, I think there's only like two covers where I'm just like, ugh, because they could have done a better job with that. But anyways, so let's see what the grade is. This is a 9.4. Yes, 9.4 white pages. Uh, a little disappointing to get uh, the 9.4 and because, because this one looked just as good as, as um, 303. I mean, it was like, the, the, the only thing I kind of remember was like, it definitely, you know, would, would benefit from a press. This one has a scuff. I, that's a scuff, was that coming up? A little scuff right there. No, that's no big deal. Um, staples look good. One thing to note about staples is like sometimes they, you know, they're not exactly in the same points on the spine, like, um, you know, 
this way. Um, one could take and be a little farther into the cover or behind. And like on this one, uh, the bottom staple is perfect and this one's kind of sticking up a little bit and I think that's when they press them. That's where some of the issues come in. Okay, so it looks like the reason why I got the 9.4 is the, is, uh, is, you're not gonna be able to see it, but on the back corner here, it, it looks like there's some like wrinkling right here on the, on the page. Yeah, it's like, um, it didn't get flattened out from the press. And I think, I think it was crump, maybe, maybe it was hit or had a little crumple before. And so I was hoping the press would get that out and it is flat, but you can clearly see, um, this little squiggle, like a wrinkle like this, and then another tiny one right at the corner. So that must've been what, what did it. Um, it's also the back is not, I don't think as wide as this one. Yeah, this, this back is a little, uh, dirt, like dirtier or something than, than the other one there. I think I got these at, uh, A1 Comics too. Oh, this is funny. So, so the only thing they, they note on the, on the tag is that it's a Supergirl appearance. And, uh, I don't know why that, uh, warms a special note on it, but, uh, she's, cause she was, she was in several of these issues, um, going through the dark saga, the darkness saga. So, so anyway, very cool. Looks like Larry Malstead did the cover on this one. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. Very happy with, uh, with the books. And I have, um, just a couple of, uh, details about each, each book here from CGC census. Uh, we live number one for a 9.8. They have 1115 copies and a 9.8. And then they have a total of 1343 for fathom the core. They only have, uh, eight 9.8s on the census for this specific cover and, uh, and a total of eight. So every single book that was submitted is a 9.8 for the Legion of Superheroes 285. There's 14 9.8s on the census and only two in 9.6, which, which is what I have. And then there's 19 total in uh, submissions. Then uh, 286, there are 10 9.8s and 14 total on the census. So it's like, to me, I think the people who really love the Legion of Superheroes are the ones that are submitting these. And that's, that's why these, these numbers are so low. Uh, with uh, LA said, uh, Legion of Superheroes 302, there are 32 9.8s on the census and only 5 9.6 and a total of 38 books on the census. And then 303, there are 16 9.8s, only one 9.4, which I, which I own, I guess I, I guess I could stand out somehow, right? And then there's only 20 total on the census. So again, like, like I said, like, I don't, I don't know why that 302 has more, I, I guess it's just a great cover. So by Giffen and Malstead. So anyways, hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, uh, please like, and subscribe. Uh, I do have, uh, two, two more shipments out to CGC and one to CBCS that I'm still waiting on. And I hope to be able to show those to you sometime soon. So have a great day.